Hey everybody and welcome back or welcome to another one of my videos. My name is Lauren Porter and you're watching Quarters with Porter. So for today's video, it is the very long awaited Saints versus Falcons game day vlog. If you're a Falcons fan, you already know this beef runs deep. This is a must win game. And it's not just a must win game because it's a rivalry game and we want to win. The NFC South is very tight. We are all a couple games away from each other. So winning these division games are very important to make sure that you make the playoffs. I'm honestly just hoping for a good win today. We know these Saints games get crazy. If you have not checked out my Saints vlog from last year, go check that video out because that game was wild. But hopefully this year's game has a different turnaround and we can get that win. But I'm about to head over to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium now I'll check back with you guys when we get there let's go beat those ants <laughs> Oh, 
later. Hey guys, so it's actually been a couple days since the game. Fortunately, I got in a car accident after the game. Like, I couldn't even fully enjoy that win because I got in an accident. By the grace of God, I am fine. No, the accident was not my fault. I haven't been able to film an outro because I've just been dealing with all the things that you deal with after you have a car accident. I'm very thankful that I'm okay. Everyone that was involved in the accident was also okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about this game. So the final score to the game was 24 to 15. Of course, we know who won the Falcons because we're the better team. Let's go ahead and get into these stats so of course player of the game we all know is Bijan Robinson Bijan had two touchdowns and he had 91 rushing yards and 32 receiving yards so you know shout out to Bijan we love you on this channel you know Desmond Ritter actually did not have a bad game himself even though he threw two interceptions I'm gonna ignore those because he definitely kept us in the game and he was better than Derek Carr like way better the Saints didn't even score a touchdown that entire game. It's actually crazy that they racked up 15 points straight off field goals. They had their kicker working overtime. Of course, the Falcons rushing offense, I have no worries about that. I do hope that in these next following weeks that we can continue working on that receiving offense because we have some great receivers that we still fail to use. I feel like I say this every video. But I also want to give a little shout out to Koo. You know, he is actually like, I believe, the number one kicker in the NFL right now. You know, we got to love that. We also love Koo on this channel as well. But overall, the Falcons had a great game. The energy in that game was so insane. All of the fans were in there going crazy. I mean, I didn't expect anything less from a rivalry game. The game also gave me hope that the Falcons definitely have potential to win the NFC South. As of right now, the Falcons are five and six on top of the NFC South. It's actually crazy that even though we're five and six, not even over 500, we're still technically considered a playoff team right now. We're literally like 30 subscribers away from a thousand subscribers. So if you hate the Saints, Subscribe to the channel join the quarters reporter family so we can hate on the Saints together if You guys don't follow me on TikTok. follow me on TikTok too I also post more sports content on there as well. I have my TikTok up on the screen Also check out my description box 
for my other social medias as well as last year's Saints game vlog. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It's always a great vlog when we win. It's an even greater vlog when we beat the Saints. I love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in and keep rising up.